What's up guys, it's Wapachan, and in this video I'm going to be telling you 5 tips to help you survive while leveling in Path of Exile. As always, you'll want to get gear with as much life and resist as possible, but just doing that is not enough to consistently reach high levels. Use Enduring Cry to generate endurance charges and Enfeeble to lower the damage of enemies. Marauder, Templar, Duelist, and Scion receive Enduring Cry as a quest reward in Act 2 from Intruders in Black, and Ranger receives this as a quest reward after completing the root of the problem in Act 2 as well. If you are playing Shadow or Witch, you can either use poe.trade to search for Enduring Cry, or go to Act 2 and ask people in local chat to buy one for you. Tipping a player who does this with a few alteration shards is good practice. Enfeeble is not a quest reward and can only be obtained for a purchase from vendors after completing Lost in Love in Act 3. Enfeeble can be purchased by Templar, Witch, Shadow, and Scion. Just as you would with Enduring Cry, you could search poe.trade or ask local chat in Act 3 if you are one of the classes that do not have access to this. Life flasks are incredibly important in Path of Exile. Early on, just make sure you get the best base available for your level. You could do this by vendoring three flasks of the lower base or purchasing any base for three wisdom scrolls in each act. By act three, you should get some form of bleed removal on one of your life flasks. This alone increases your defense and your survivability substantially. Utility flasks are another incredibly important set of flasks in Path of Exile. Granite flasks are great to dramatically increase your armor and can be your single greatest source of physical damage reduction throughout the entire game. Quicksilver flasks greatly increase your movement speed, helping you avoid spells, AoE attacks, or just getting away from dangerous mobs in general, and have the longest base duration of all utility flasks. Resist flasks are great to have ready in your stash to swap while you're leveling and encounter high elemental or chaos damage fights. One of the best things about utility flasks is that due to their nature of staying active for their full duration, unlike life or mana flasks, you could maintain curse immunity or status ailment immunity for 5 plus seconds. Movement abilities help you escape dangerous situations. There is a unique movement ability for pretty much each class or spec in Path of Exile. These include Flame Dash for casters, Whirling Blades for Dagger, Claw, and One-Handed Sword users, Leap Slam for Axe, Mace, Sword, and Staff users, and then Blink Arrow for Bow users. These all become available for their respective classes after completing the Cage Brute in Act 1. Use a Castwind Damage Taken setup. Castwind Damage Taken becomes available to every class from the vendor after completing the Eternal Nightmare in Act 4. A Castwind Damage Taken setup can curse large packs, Use a Mortal Call for physical damage immunity, cast Molten Shell for additional armor and damage absorption, and even summon your Golem of choice. The amount of damage taken is dependent on the gem level, and the gems you want to be triggered cannot exceed the gem level of cast with damage taken. You will see a skill icon with an exclamation point in the upper right corner if this is set up correctly. If you do accidentally overlevel something, you can trade in the overlevel gem to the vendor with an Orb of Scouring to reduce this level by one, or with an Orb of Regret to reset it completely. You can even use multiple castle damage taken setups, each at different levels, if you so choose. And those are my five tips for surviving in Path of Exile. If you like this video and would like more tips and videos about Path of Exile, I'll be making one every week, so please subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. You can also come and ask me at my live stream at twitch.tv slash Thanks guys, bye!